For the last five years, I've lived in the Washington DC metro area. In that time, I've lived on Capitol Hill, walking distance from my job with the federal government in several places in Alexandria. And finally, two years ago, I moved into my dream apartment in Pentagon City. It was my first experience living completely alone, not with a roommate, not in my college dorm. This place was 100% mine. The gym downstairs was amazing. And also just the area was my absolute favorite. Pentagon City is the best. It had a beautiful penthouse rooftop where a lot of great memories were made. I've loved every minute of living in this apartment and decided to share my fully furnished apartment tour of my 675 square foot one bedroom apartment. This apartment will always hold such a special place in my heart. Pentagon City will always feel like my second home. Welcome to my apartment tour. If you're new here, my name is Selena. I am an economist and a content creator in the Washington DC area. I've been living in this one bedroom apartment for the past two years and this is my first official apartment tour. So getting started, this is the entryway. On the right when I walk in, there's a little closet. There's really not a ton to see here. This is where we hang our coats, have my gym bag, and have a little bit of organization on the top as well. This is where all the shoes go. I also have a little utility rack that I got from Amazon and a couple of containers up top where I have scarves and gloves, sunglasses, things like that that I might need before I head out. And the two containers that I have are from the container store. So everything that I mentioned, I will make sure to have everything linked down below. So if you wanna purchase anything, make sure to check out my description box. On my left, as soon as I walk in, is the entryway table. You'll notice that my decor is honestly pretty minimal, a little bit modern. I don't know, I just kind of put together all the things that I thought looked good together and make me feel good and cozy at home. So I found this clear vase here with some dried eucalyptus from Ikea and from World Market. My mirror is from Target. And then I just paired a simple round black mirror with a black entryway table that I found on Amazon. It has a glass top and then I found this cute little marble container which is where I put my keys. I found that at HomeSense. So yeah this area is just like cute functional and then I have my hamper right here because on the right I have my washer and dryer. Right when you walk in, it's a very open concept apartment. You walk right into the kitchen. First of all, I love this kitchen. The only thing that it's missing is an island. For the amount of money that they ask for this specific apartment floor plan, you really think that there'd be at least like a movable island, especially because there definitely is enough space for it. That's probably my biggest con with this floor plan. Besides that, I really love that it's an open concept. I love the colors. It's very modern, very minimal, easy to decorate. So starting out on this side, we have the fridge, another con from this kitchen. I wish there was a two door fridge, but honestly, this has done me well. It's perfect for a single person living alone or like a couple living alone. So on this side, I have my moving boxes cause I'm moving soon, but this is usually where I put like any totes or grocery bags. I also have a little stepper down there. I have a few pictures of like family, friends, my graduation. And then up here, I would just keep my baking pans from Caraway. I love them. I have a discount code down below. And then my protein shakes and collagen. My protein powders and collagen go up there as well. And then next to the fridge is the pantry where I just have all my dried foods and there's really nothing special in this section. I had bought a bunch of like organizers but I think I'm gonna definitely focus on doing that more in the next apartment that I move to so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. If you're already a follower you know that I love organizing, making productive vlogs, cleaning vlogs and all of that and I really want to focus on having more organization for the kitchen in my next apartment. So here I just have more snacks and goods. Here I do have a little bit of organization. So above the sink is where I have all of my plates and cups. Up there as you can see it's just miscellaneous water bottles. I'm pretty sure we all have a shelf like that honestly. And then I got these two little cabinet racks that honestly made the biggest difference for organization because as you can see I can have like two different size plates, different types of bowls stacked on top of one another. So I got those racks from Amazon. Again it'll be linked down below 
below on like my kitchen essentials list. I have some glasses that I love to make my little aesthetic cafecito in the mornings. It's my favorite thing to do. So it's very essential for me to have like minimal aesthetic, nice looking glassware. I don't know. It's just, it's part of my morning routine. So all of that is here. And then I also did a little bit of kitchen organization. I also bought these trays that catch water. So I put my sponges on there. I got my scrub daddy, of course, and then hand soap and dish soap. And then in the corner, I just have the cutting boards and the charcuterie board and this cute little candle that my friend Jenna got me. It's really cute. As well as a little succulent that I got from Home Depot. Over here, I just have like a napkin dispenser that I got on Amazon, as well as this cute little vase that I got from Ikea. Up here is where I keep like oils and things. All the other kitchen essentials don't have a ton of organization, like I said, but the one thing that I did want to show you all is in this cabinet. I have a Lazy Susan that I've had since like the first week that I moved in here because I actually tried to organize a little bit. So this has been really nice to keep all of my spices and be able to access them easily. And again, everything here is not really super organized. So yeah, I'm not gonna go over every single cabinet. Those were like the ones that I wanted to highlight. This is by far one of my favorite areas in my kitchen because again, if you're not new here, you know that I make my cafecito every single morning. And this is like my little coffee area. I have this really cute tea kettle that I got from Target. I have my Nespresso. This is the Nespresso Breville Virtuo. And then I have some coffee syrups. And I also put all of my Nespresso pods in this clear little container. It works for me, I think it's cute. And this is also where I keep my soda stream because my boyfriend and I love to have seltzer water and it can be expensive and like not great for the environment. So we decided to get one so we can just make ours at home. So in my living room, it's all gonna be very minimal vibes. I love it, I think it's really cozy. This rug is from Rugs USA. It's in the ivory ornament color. So this is probably my favorite part of my living room and it's just this cute little fiddle leaf fig that I found at Ikea. And then the plant stand and the planter itself I found on Amazon. Really cute, looks very chic and minimal, and it just like ties the living room together. The star of the show is really this couch. It's from Living Spaces. I think that they don't sell this one anymore, so I'll have to try to find one that's similar and make sure to link it down below. It is a very comfy, cozy couch. I've had several people stay over and sleep on this, and they say that it is the comfiest couch that they've ever slept on, so really great budget-friendly couch. I think it's the perfect couch for like your first apartment. This was my first apartment, living completely alone. So no regrets. I have an acrylic coffee table that I found on Amazon The reason I went with an acrylic coffee table is because the space like the living area space is kind of small And I wanted to give the illusion that there was more space than there actually was However, some downsides that I will point out about having acrylic furniture is one it scratches easily So if it's gonna be in a high use area like this, maybe I wouldn't do it again Two, It's kind of hard to keep clean because you always have to be wiping down any fingerprints and things like that that so kind of high maintenance and three at night when you're walking around you might just accidentally knock into it or at least I did from personal experience so make sure to watch out for that I think if I were to do it again I would maybe get a smaller acrylic coffee table or just not do acrylic altogether but I think I like how it all looks and it worked really great for the space I also have coffee table books these two are the Bible study books so that's kind of what I have as decor right now and then I also have a candle from anthropology then for the media console it's from Ikea and it's the Besta and then I also have two little snake plants decorating it I just love adding like green plants here and there to a minimal space because it just first of all provides fresh air and second of all I just think it looks really cute and then I also have a black little oil diffuser that I found on Amazon now let's check out my bathroom and bedroom so the bathroom is pretty simple. I really didn't do a whole lot. I have beautiful flowers that my friend brought me just because she was visiting and I love it. I feel like it's so spring and adds a little touch of color. Here I just have a little concrete where I have my hand soap, which I got from Amazon and this cute little concrete candle. In the corner, I have a corner organizer with all of my skincare, my electric toothbrush, and all of that is there. And then down here is where I actually have like some organization that I got from the container store. I will show you guys that really quickly. So down here is where I have all the organization, although it is kind of everywhere because I did buy these pieces like separately during different times. But this is just a little tray where I have my hair brushes, hair bands, hair things, nail tools, this acrylic little 
organizer from Amazon has all of the stuff that I need to do my own gel nails and gel X nails at home. I do have a like LED lamp and all of that. I have a video actually that I made where I show how I do my nails, the gel X method. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. I also got this cute little acrylic organizer that holds my blow dryer, my Dyson air wrap, and my flat iron. And then it's cool because it has this little area where you can also put anything hair related, which is where I have like my hair stuff. And then here I have this really nice acrylic organizer that I got from the container store. Up here I just have like most of the makeup that I use day to day. And then down here I have skincare, products, deodorant, all of that. And down here is like the bigger bulkier items for the bathroom. That's been really useful. Absolutely love the container store, so I will make sure to link those down below as well. So in the shower, I actually have some organization that I wanted to show you all. So I got these really, really popular shower racks that we've all probably seen and love, but I just have to shout it out because these have been amazing. Like literally, I've almost fallen in the bathtub and held on to this and it didn't come off. So they're super durable. They also have like these little hooks where I put my body scrub that I got from Amazon, of course, loofah, shower cap, all the things. And then it's just really great. And then this is amazing. I love it. I actually use it all the time. I know some people judge me for like being on my phone in the shower, but I don't care. You can play music. <laughs> you can play like a soothing video or vlog, which is what I tend to do. It's just fun. It makes my showers more enjoyable. I don't know. So highly recommend this. I'll also make sure to link it down below. In my bedroom, I also have my work from home setup. I have a whole video where I go over that and I actually just moved my desk back into my bedroom because I'm moving and I'm like consolidating my things so it just fit really neatly in here. But this is how my bedroom was set up the whole first year that I lived here. So it just fit really nicely tucked into this corner in my bedroom. So really quickly, all the things here are linked on that video, my work from home desk setup, except this is the flexi spot desk which I will make sure to link down below. Absolutely love it. This ergonomic chair is super cute, aesthetic, functional. And I got this from Amazon and it's been really good to me. I love it. But this is my work from home setup. I recently got this Ikea lamp, so that's not in the video. And it also has a wireless charger and a USB-C port, so that's really nice. And it's just nice to have a lamp in here to get like some extra light on gloomy days like today or just those nights where, you know, you have to work a little bit later. And then over here, again, it fits perfectly and it's tucked away way perfectly. It's my walking pad that I also got from Amazon. I absolutely love it. I'm sad that I'm gonna have to sell everything, but she's been good to me. And I highly recommend that specific brand too, because not a lot of walking pads support the weight of anyone that's above 200 pounds, which to me is kind of like, I don't know, counterintuitive because you would think that if someone's trying to get healthy, you know, it's very likely they might weigh more than 200 pounds. And if they're trying to, you know, get their steps in and live a healthier life, it just doesn't make sense to me. A lot of the ones I saw recommended on TikTok only supported the weight of people that were below 200 pounds. This one can support body weight up to 265 pounds, which is still not like completely inclusive, but it's a lot more inclusive than a lot of other walking pads. So I highly recommend that one specifically, which again will be linked down below. So next to that, I have my beautiful Ikea mirror that I love so much. I've had this one since I want to say 2019. Literally love it. I would take it with me if I could. Beautiful, beautiful mirror. It brings in a lot of light. So next to my standing mirror, I have this little cute, it was like a side table, wooden table that I found on Amazon a couple years ago. And I ended up loving it more and more. So I just put it here with this Monstera plant. This plant stand actually came with the other plant stand where my fiddle leaf fig is. It was in a set. Love it. Unfortunately, this plant looked like this, like it was already dying when I first bought it. I repotted it, put new soil, have watered it, and it's just not not thriving so it is what it is on this table I have the plant and I also have this little what are these called I can't think of it, but I got this to water my plants with from Ikea. I also just use it as decor because it's so cute. And then down here, I just have my little trash can that I got on Amazon. I just liked it because it was neutral and it lasted and it was cheap and affordable. So yes, that is this little corner. And then here I just have a pile of dirty clothes that we're not gonna pay any attention to or look at, but it's in a hamper. You know, that's what hampers are for. This area, I would say, is really the star of the show. This is where my bedroom shines. For one, I love the huge windows in here and all the light, the natural light that I get. My apartment is south facing, so the view isn't like terrible. 
There's like Costco and like other apartment buildings, but it's really the light that does it for me. I have a full size bed. These pillows that I love, I think I might actually take these with me. I got as a set from Home Goods. Same with these ones. My duvet is from Ikea. My bed is from Mattress Firm, not from Ikea. My pillows are from Ikea. This throw blanket that I throw on top is from Home Goods. This is the bookshelf that I get so many questions about, and I have a photo of it on my Amazon storefront with as much of the things that I could link as I could. Hood, so make sure to go check that out. But this bookshelf I have had since 2019. So like four years now and she's done me good. There's like a little wear and tear on her, but it just gives her character. And you know, if you're standing like more than two feet away, you cannot see, love her. So this bookshelf is from Amazon. It was also under a hundred dollars. Honestly, all my furniture is pretty budget friendly and it took me several years to accumulate all this furniture. I didn't buy it all at once. So this little vase and the flowers are from Ikea. This is from from Amazon, Ikea. I just got these succulent plant pots, plant pots from Amazon and all the succulents are from Home Depot. And then I have some books here, some of my favorite books that I've read in the past. And then down here I have a little picture frame. It's like a wooden picture frame that I found at Home Goods, and it has a little dusty photo, which I need to take the dust off of it. Dust accumulates so bad. This is a cute little photo of me and my boyfriend and I just use it as decor because it's cute. And then down there, I just have a couple of wooden crates that I use for storage for any camera equipment and gear, more books. And then down here, I don't know if you can see it, but I have an air filter because your girl has allergies and I need it. Last but not least, I have this little nightstand that I found at Home Goods with a couple of books on it, just as like decor and this cute little jewelry plate where I put my jewelry at the end of the night, a little oil diffuser that I got from HomeSense, this cute little lamp that's just very minimal provides a little bit of light it also has a smart led light bulb in there so i can like change the hues and like the brightness which is really nice to have in your bedroom by the way this nightstand also has like a usb plug-in so you can charge your phone or charge whatever and two drawers so it's just been very functional she's done me well i wanted to show you all where i've lived for the past two years and what you can really get in the dc metro area right now if you wanted to rent out my specific floor plan it starts at around twenty four hundred dollars and that's the starting point on like the first and second floor. If you want to be on the fourth floor or above like me, it's easily going to cost at least $26, $2,700. So just wanted to give a little realistic tour of what it looks like. And hopefully you all enjoyed this. And don't forget that I'm also going to be putting all of the links down in the description. So make sure to check that out if you're interested. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. This is just the end of one chapter. I'm getting ready to move cross country back home to Oregon. So if you want to stick around and see the moving vlogs and the journey of that cross country move, make sure to subscribe down below. And with all that said, I love you all so much and I hope to see you all in the next video.